Greetings gun enthusiasts. Today I'm set up to pit two of Hornady's premier defensive loadings, American Gunner and Critical Defense, against each other in a gel block with four layers of 14 ounce heavy denim. That's crisp new stuff. That's not cut out of any old jeans. I'm going to try to push these two rounds to their very limits. I've preloaded three rounds of the Critical Defense and three rounds of the American Gunner. And I just measured the gel block temperature at 37.8 degrees. So I'm gonna get started. And the first round I'm gonna shoot is the critical defense because although this gel block is eight inches wide, I wanna make sure I can give the critical defense a good test. I don't shoot critical defense as often as I shoot the American Gunner because they're a little bit more expensive. So I want to make sure I get the critical defense. I get at least three rounds of critical defense into this gel block. Then we'll switch to the American Gunner. Now, already, I see a problem here. The, uh, the water jug has one sort of sideways hole. I think I heard a clunk. Yes, one of the critical defense rounds has gone through without expansion. That's disappointing, but it looks like the other two have at least partially expanded. Well, no, it looks like uh, that one. Yeah, I think the other two partially expanded. They certainly stopped in the gel block. Now, I did bring a spare water jug, so I will line up and shoot them again, this time with the American Gunner. So the FTXs have an expansion failure through the ultra heavy denim barrier. Let's see what we get with the XTPs. Again, these are the Hornady factory loads. Let's see if I can get room in here. Don't wanna, don't wanna go back over the same tracks. That would invalidate the science of what I'm doing. All right. Get the XTPs loaded in and give them a whirl. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna get really, really close to the gel to make sure I don't uh, double up on anything here. Oh, we've hauled the, ju uh, the, uh, the jug again. <laughs> you have to adjust the denim. Wow, that one looks like it really failed. Failed hard, okay. Okay, right there, I can do it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put another one slightly high in this corner where I haven't shot anything yet. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. We've got one hole into the gel block. One of the XTPs is right at the end of the gel block. This is almost 14 inches long. This is a much bigger gel block than I've made before. Yeah, oh, oops. Got holes coming and going. Okay, so one of these definitely failed. And I don't see where the bullet is at all. Yeah, one of the XTPs definitely failed expansion. 
and has in fact completely escaped. One of the XTPs blew right through both sides of the water jug after passing through the entire gel block. Yeah, there's the, the exit hole, definitely showing no signs of expansion. One of them went right back here, definitely did expand partially, partial expansion exhibited on that one. That leaves three rounds unaccounted for. Two of the XTPs and, no, two of the FTXs and two and one of the XTPs. So one of the American Gunners is still in here. And there I think it is, almost to the end of the gel. Yep, it's definitely an XTP round. And there's another FTX sitting right close to the end of the gel block with what looks like partial expansion on that. Try not to lose it. Yeah, there's an FTX round. That is a critical defense round exhibiting partial expansion. So it looks like we have found the limit of these two rounds. Four layers of truly heavy 14 ounce denim will stop these bullets from properly expanding in gel. Here is that other FTX bullet. And that one is more properly expanded. That one's a little bit better. It's actually pretty good as far as FTXs go. All right, now I'll show you the five rounds I did capture. Zoom in on these guys. Now, these are the XTP rounds. Those are your American Gunner. One of them escaped completely, passed through the water jug backer. Its track showed no evidence of expansion. These are the FTX rounds, the critical defense. And you can see the red polymer tip still in a couple of them and more or less proper expansion on one of them. So one of those failed to expand, one of the, one of the critical defense, and two of the American gunner failed to expand. On the whole, I'm going to say this was a very good, successful demonstration of what 380, obviously in a short barrel pocket pistol, is capable of. Critical Defense has slightly more reliable expansion, but four layers of heavy denim is quite a challenge, even for Hornady's popular defensive loads. All right. Thanks, folks. Geographies are out.